Hi. Today's Urgent Care is brought to you by Iroko Post Books, publishers of This American Life Self. You can get it on Amazon. It's as funny as today's episode. <laughs> I won't disappoint you. An advocate for accountability, transparency, and good governance once told me that all Nigerian governors, past and present, have no conscience. He said that the only way someone could steal the amount of money that they all steal in and out of office is if the person has a dead conscience. Now, that is a politically correct way of saying that they are criminals. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Nobody will find you five million naira for saying that. Nobody, they all agree. As for us, citizens, yeah, you and I, who see them and hail them, the same people who kept us in our pathetic situation, I say, well done, well done. We are not just partners in their crimes. We are accomplices to our poverty, accomplices to the abuse that we suffer daily, and accomplices to the inhuman treatment that we receive from people in authority. No, 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 no. We are something more than accomplices. We are enablers. Welcome to Urgent Care, where we treat matters too urgent to wait for tomorrow. I am Dr. Damages. I got a funny story today. It will make your day, I promise you. A former governor of Imo State, Mr. Ikedi Ohakim, is in trouble. And, and he needs our help. A woman is accusing him of defrauding her of 500 million naira. 500 million. Now, some news agencies are reporting that the former governor was arrested and granted administrative bail on the basis of a petition that the woman wrote. <laughs> but let's start the story from the beginning. In a January 20th petition to the Inspector General of Police, the former governor complained that one financial woman is threatening him and his family. He said the woman assaulted him and is blackmailing him. Now, look at Ohakim's uh, letter to the Inspector General of Police. Yeah, look at the letter. Trace of assault on anybody, even if the person is a criminal, is a serious matter. But, but you won't know that is a, a serious issue when you read the second paragraph of Hakim's letter of petition to the Inspector General of Police. Here is what he wrote. <laughs> I am a businessman, 62 years of age, a defense and security contractor. <laughs> really? I am a former governor of Imo State, a titled chief, the Obu Jingidi of Ibo Land, and Otumba, Tommy Tope of Yoruba Land, amongst other 51 chieftaincy titles across Nigeria. Hey! <laughs> Please, you can laugh with me if you want to. Only 51 chieftaincy titles. Eh? Does it sound as if this Ohakim of a man is a serious person? A woman is threatening him, slapping him in public, blocking his family from coming out of his house in Abuja. And the only two chieftaincy titles out of 51 titles that he has, that he could remember, were the ones given to him in Igbo land and Yoruba land. Did he think that he was writing to the Inspector General of Police for Biafra or the IG of Police for Duruba Republic? I'm just, I'm asking you. <laughs> so, so he didn't even get any title from Nasarawa State when he was governor. Big mistake, big, big mistake. Anyway. <laughs> in the petition, Hakim said that he accepted this woman as a friend and lavished her with favors because, because she dropped names of highly placed Nigerians and had connections at NMPC. <laughs> you, know, you know, at this point in the petition, you can begin to call this Hakim of a guy a very smart man. <laughs> very smart man. Don't you think so? Anyway. In the petition, Ohakim said that the woman promised him oil contracts. <laughs> it's always about oil. It's never about cassava bread or snack farm. No, oil. <laughs> I, I don't know 
people still fall for that uh, oil thing. It's so 1980s. Anyway, along the way, the woman started threatening Ohakim. According to Hakim, she came with higher talks while Ohakim was away and held Ohakim's family captive. Now, on January 18, 2020, while some of us were eating our Gary, JJ, and Granot, the woman was busy slapping Ohakim around in an Abuja hotel room. Poor man, poor Ohakim. Just so you know, he was a former governor. I didn't know that they also get slapped around <laughs> like, like us. Now, in the petition, he said that the woman gave him a violent push and he staggered to recover. <laughs> wow. That must be a strong woman. Do, do we have her picture? <laughs> she is hot, smoking hot. Anyway, Hakim <laughs> said that the woman wanted to grab what he suspected to be a gun from her bag. But he, or Hakim, ran out of the hotel room, shouting like a girl, oh, she wants to kill me, she wants to kill me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is in the petition, read it. I didn't know that former governors fear death like that. As governors, they acted like supermen. <laughs> Hakim said that she reported the woman to the police at uh, a Sokoro police station in Abuja. And when policemen came, this is all in the petition. The woman, the woman abused them. <laughs> I thought only governors are allowed to abuse policemen. I didn't know a woman can do that. <laughs> then Hakim said that he, he has been receiving threats since then, since that incident. And so is his wife. He cried to the IG of police that the woman told him that unless he gave her money, that she would destroy him. Poor Hakim, you know, what is he going to do now? Hakim said that the woman mentioned, oh, this woman is wonderful, the names of men who crossed her that are today on the streets begging for food. <laughs> now, now, to get the attention of the police, Hakim said that the woman is blackmailing a prominent member of the current administration. I'm like, wow, who could that be? Who could that be? Eh? Abakiera is dead. Now, who could that be? Now, one of the last paragraphs of the petition is the funniest. It goes like this. I quote, I am completely terrified. This serial blackmailer wants to extort money from me by blackmail, destroy my impeccable reputation, or kill me if she is not stopped or halted immediately. <laughs> We don't suffer for Nigeria. His impeccable reputation. Now, now, I can swear that that man or Hakim cannot spell impeccable without using double K. Uh, by the way, kids, it is spelled with one K, not two. One K. Now, <laughs> the petition was signed by His Excellency, Dr. Ikedi or Hakim. Hey, he forgot to put PhD and all those degrees. He, he's called a doctor. We don't know where he got his uh, doctorate degree. But anyway, that's not the point. Now, for more impact, Ohakim attached the picture of the woman where she was smoking Cuban cigar with smoke rising up to the ceiling. Look at, look at her. Hey, hey. By the way, the police headquarters, they, they replied to Ohakim. Oh, yeah, they did. They asked him to come for an interview with supporting evidence. Good guys. One of the evidence was evidence of the woman dropping names of highly placed Nigerians and people at NMPC. <laughs> yeah, I'm not making this things up. Can you imagine that? You know, as for the woman, she sent a counter petition to the police and the DSS, claiming that Ohakim owed her 500 million. You see what I'm saying? There are dozens of stories like this about each of those former governors floating around. It only takes a woman who knows how to puff Cuban cigar for us to hear about one. Africans, who did this to us? Who did this to us? Hi, in this difficult time, the good people at Sandwave have come up with a wonderful way to bring relief to their Nigerian customers. They have announced a new cash bonus promotion 
For a limited time, SendWave is offering an instant automatic cash bonus for all transfers to Nigeria over $50 or 50 euro or 50 pounds. Offer is for Nigeria only. No promo code or extra effort needed. Here is how it works. First, you must update your app to the latest version of SendWave to benefit from this offer. Then simply enter the amount you want to send and send wave we add at least 4.5% cash bonus to your transfer. For example, if you send $100, you receive send wave standard rate of 38,200 naira plus an additional 1,800 naira. Yes, you can check how much of the bonus you will get on the confirm transaction screen. That is where you enter your password when you're sending the money. Um, and for those of you not yet using SendWave, come close. Listen to me. What have you been waiting for? Download SendWave and use the promo code DOCTOR and you'll be on your way to a quick, safe, reliable, fee-free money transfer. They will even dash you $5 or 5 euro or, or, or five, five pounds for, for using DOCTOR 